Hello friends, my name is Kisan and welcome you in this video tutorial. In this video tutorial, we are going to discuss about the some of the concurrency improvement in Java 8. So here is the Google, let's try to search by typing Java 8 concurrency improvement and uh, we have our very first link which is from Oracle. So let's click over here and come to the bottom section and here you can see new methods in java.util.concurrent.fork join pool. So it's a class uh, which was added in JDK 1.7. Now in JDK 1.8, there was in Java 8 uh, came up with some enhancement and they have added two uh, new methods. Like if you search by typing 1.8, then you can see common pool is the one of the meta. Another meta is called get common pool values. So these are the two methods have been added in jdk 1.8 in this class right so in this video tutorial we'll see how we can make use of these two uh, method right so basically fork join pool class uh, in uh, class implements executor service the task submitted to this pool should be subclass of fork join task since this class is not extending thread pool executor it does not have all all those core pool size, uh, uh, queuing, maximum pool size concepts. Instead, it implements work stealing algorithm. Uh, this class provides a static method to get common pool instance. Right? So, if you press Ctrl Shift and you search for the common pool, then you have a method. Right? It's a, a static method. And this method basically, uh, this uh, this method provides a static method to get common pool instance. The pool instance returned by this method is initialized in a static block with default settings. That makes sense, right? Because a global pool will be aware what cores cores are being used throughout the application at given point, right? So it's a basically common pool, uh, like. Uh, if you create a, I mean, a thread pool by using executors, right? So you have a very specific pool, but here it is a common pool. That's why this is a static method, and you can see this common has been declared as a static. If you go to the top of this class, then you can see this is declared as a static, right? And this has been installed in the static block, so it's a common for entire application. Now let's how we can make use of this method. Now here let's in this I have created a client program over here and I'm going to create another class. I would say com.infotech.task and I will create a class is called my task. Okay, and this is going to implement call level interface. So call level and let's take this takes integer integer right so this class implements call level so this class has to implement call method <clears throat> now this in this class I'm going to declare a few uh, instance variable like long int I would say number of times and second variable I'm going to declare private uh, long adder which already we have seen in our earlier video tutorial so long adder this was one of the class also added in JDK 1.8 and I would say adder okay and let's create a constructor to initialize this uh, instance variable right click go to the source and we have option generate constructor using fields so we have created a constructor now in this call method let's iterate this uh, uh, for each loop till number of times provided so I would say number of till iterate this till number of times now let's, let's start with one and what I'm going to make use of this reference so add has a method is called add and here you can pass uh, so 
let's see this day you can take as a log right so here you can pass i so this will add this will iterate the number of times and that will add the every integer and finally adder has a method is called a lot of method adder has one of the method is called int value so i'm going to return this added value to the call right now come to the client program and here i'm going to create a adder object sorry long adder long adder adder so long adder has a default constructor so directly you can create instance of it now we can create a my task object right so let's create a my task object my task i mean task equal to new my task my task here number of times i'm going to specify 10 and here i'm going to pass this adder object right let's create a list of call level so i'm going to create a list of call level over here and this is list of call level and let's say this is task and you can take any implementer list implementer i'm going to take array list okay now press ctrl shift o for organize import and in this task list we can add our task right so you can add your task just have added my task you can create more than one task and you can add in this list for simplicity just i'm adding only one task okay so now now we have a I, at this time i'm not going to use executors instead i'm going to use a fork join pool fork join pool and this has a method is called common pool which we, we are talking about now this returns us the common pool itself right and common pool has a method is called something is called invoke all which accepts which accepts collection so this task i'm going to pass it over here and this will return us the list of future object and we can iterate this list of future object and we can call get method on it right so let's call get method and get method throw some exceptions so this exception either you can handle within the try catch or you can declare so here just i'm going to declare using throws clause okay and finally add i will ask to the other give me the final result so adder dot int val right this will give us the final result and here you can even while iterating the task uh, even okay so here when you create a task uh, in this class you can see the thread name as well right so you can print the thread name so thread dot current thread dot get name even you can check it out what is the thread name in this case now if i run it then this will it also the some of the number some of the uh in, uh, integer sum from 1 to 10 so if i run it then look at the i'm getting 55 which is the sum of i mean natural number from 1 to 10 and you can see the thread name what is saying fork join pool dot common pool worker one right so this is indicating that this is using the common pool right so uh, we have seen how to make use of common pool method in fork join pool class now you have an instance of fork join pool and here you can even check that you can find the so here dot get uh, you can get a get common parallel it is so this will return you the num sorry this is a static method so directly you can call by class name right and you can print the 
so if you look into the java doc saying that returns the targeted parallelism level of the common full pool right and this has been added in jdk 1.8 if you try to run then you can get the parallelism level so i have a three core processor in my machine so that is just returning a three so i hope you enjoyed learning this video and thanks for watching this video uh, this code I am going to upload on GitHub and GitHub location I will specify in the video description itself. If you have any query then please do post uh, below to the video. Uh, I will try my best to answer those queries and see you next video of tutorial with some new to topic in Java 8.